particle physics and life. The chemical properties of elements are set by properties of smaller parts, called particles. These include protons, neutrons, and electrons. The nucleus of the atom is made of nucleons, protons and neutrons, while the outer shell of the atom is composed of electrons. Nucleons are themselves made of more fundamental particles called quarks. The standard model contains 17 known elementary particles. Nearly every particle in the standard model of particle physics has to exist, or else we would not be here. Moreover, in most cases, the properties of each particle, such as its mass, had to be just so. A world of electrons. Electrons, being so small and light may seem remote and abstract, but the world we know is primarily the world of electrons. The light we see is emitted by electrons. Sounds we hear are carried by electrons bouncing off each other. Tastes and smells we experience are caused by chemical reactions driven by electrons. Every time we touch something we feel the repulsion of that thing's electrons. Every chemical reaction is activity between electrons. Accordingly, the properties of elements, the compounds they can form, their level of reactivity, all of it, is determined by the properties of electrons. If the mass or charge of electrons had different values, all of chemistry would change. For example, if electrons were heavier, atoms would be smaller and bonds would require more energy. If electrons were too heavy there would be no chemical bonding at all. If electrons were much lighter, bonds would be too weak to form stable molecules like proteins and DNA. Visible and infrared light would become ionizing radiation. They would be as harmful as X-rays and UV are to us now. Our own body heat would damage our DNA. Luckily for us, electrons weigh just enough to yield a stable, but not sterile chemistry. Quote. The laws of science, as we know them at present, contain many fundamental numbers, like the size of the electric charge of the electron, and the ratio of the masses of the proton and the electron, the remarkable fact is that the values of these numbers, seem to have been very finely adjusted to make possible the development of life. For example, if the electric charge of the electron had been only slightly different, stars either would have been unable to burn hydrogen, and helium, or else they would not have exploded. End quote. Stephen Hawking in a Brief History of Time, 1988 A Starless Universe Electrons are very light compared to the protons and neutrons. The proton's mass m sub p is 1836.15 times the mass of an electron m sub e. The neutron's mass m sub n is 1838.68 times the mass of an electron m sub e. In a ton of coal, the electrons contribute little more than half a pound. We've seen how electron weight it is of critical importance to chemistry. But so too are masses of other particles. It was important that 1. Protons and neutrons be close in weight. 2. Yet differ in mass by more than one electron. 3. And also that neutrons be heavier than protons. As it happens, all three of these conditions hold true. Had any of them not been met we end up with a universe devoid of life. Particle physics provides no explanation for why neutrons are heavier than protons, rather than the other way around, except if protons were heavier, there could be no life like us. A free neutron is a neutron not part of an atomic nucleus. Free neutrons are unstable. They have a mean lifetime of about 15 minutes. Left alone, a free neutron will decay into a proton and electron. Such decay is possible because neutrons weigh more than a proton and electron put together. Had instead, protons weighed more, then neutrons would be stable and protons would be unstable. A free proton would then be able to decay into a neutron and a positron. 
But most of the hydrogen in the universe has a nucleus that is nothing but a free proton. If protons were unstable then hydrogen is unstable. Little hydrogen would survive to today. There would be no stars as we know them, only neutron stars and black holes. Properties of subatomic particles at the smallest scales, determine the course of events of the universe at the largest scales. If neutrons weighed ever so slightly less, there would be no stars. It was also necessary that neutrons be unstable. Had protons and neutrons weighed the same, or been within one electron's weight, then both nucleons would be stable. There would have been equal numbers of protons and neutrons in the first minutes following the Big Bang. Again the result is disaster. With equal numbers, each proton could pair with a neutron to form hydrogen 2. Hydrogen 2 rapidly reacts to form helium 4. There would be no more hydrogen of any kind in the universe, no fuel to power stars like our sun, no water, no organic chemistry, no life. A universe without atoms. Photons are particles of light and carriers of the electromagnetic force. Photons are the reason, the sun warms you, like magnets repel, electrons bind to nuclei to make atoms, and why your eyes can see. A laser beam consists of photons, so too are all gamma rays, X-rays, ultraviolet light, visible light, infrared, microwaves, and radio waves. Of all known particles, only two are massless. One is the gluon. The other is the photon. It was necessary for life in the universe that photons be massless. Had they not been, there would be no atoms. Virtual photons carry the electrostatic and magnetic forces. Because photons are massless, virtual photons can act over any distance. If on the other hand, photons had mass, then virtual photons could only act over short ranges, on the order of the size of a nucleus. There would then be no attraction or repulsion by electrons and nothing to bind them to atoms. There would be no chemistry, only plasma.